Welcome to the last practice problem set for what are the time zones? And those are the zones of time that uh, move through the axis of the Earth. And there are 24 of them because there's 24 hours in one rotation. So basically, we're going to take a look at the main ideas here. And that is why is time different around the world? It's 24 hours in a rotation. So it's later in the day when places have seen the sunrise because it's that far late. And it's earlier if you're waiting for. So it's if you're waiting for the sun to rise, it's a lot earlier than if the sun has already risen. In the United States, New York is a little bit east and California is west. So the sun rises, as you see over here, it'll rise sooner in the east and then later in the west. And that's based on the prime meridian. And we'll look at the um, international dateline in just a minute. So basically, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, the places having day are A, B, C. The place had daylight first would be C. And the place that had day last would be A, more in the west. Therefore. Earth is rotating from east to west. As you go west, the daytime becomes earlier. And as you go east, the day, the time becomes later. B is west of C, and therefore B is earlier. B is east of A, right? So that's east, this is west. And therefore B is later time than A. The places having night are D, E, and F. F, the furthest east, had uh, night first, and D had night last, because E is west of, oh, sorry, east of D, then it is later, and because E is west of F, then it's earlier than F. And last of all, A is the earliest, and F is the latest because it still isn't even, it's a long time from night over here. So that's very early in the day. That's very late in the day. Just to make note, there is the line opposite of the prime meridian called the international date line, and that's the point at which the day changes from one day to another. So in this diagram, the international date line comes over here. So we'll just assume that all of these are on the, on the same day, right? If you go a little bit further, it's actually not the same day. It's a different day. So we will uh, pull more. And notice it doesn't go straight because there's stuff out there. and People don't want to live in the same country. And, and have be in a different day. So that'd be pretty weird, like your next door neighbor was a different day than you. Um, changing of the seasons, we've gone over this a lot, so we won't talk a lot about it, but basically, if you've got the sun here and it's shining in this direction, it's gonna hit the Arctic in the north much more than it's going to hit the south. Matter of fact, the Antarctic Circle marks the point at which on the uh, shortest day of the year, there's absolutely no sun at all hitting the South Pole and the opposite over here. The Arctic Circle marks the point where in the middle of winter, there is no sunshine hitting any of these places over here because it's right there. Okay. Not the best drawing, but we'll, we'll get it. So we've talked about this a ton all year long that the most direct rays are going to hit most directly uh, sort of like getting punched in the nose or on the top of the head and a that just sort of glance off there the indirect light is spread out and the direct light is most direct uh, direct rays are stronger because they're hitting most directly and the indirect rays are weaker um, 
rays that are more direct, therefore are going to um, give more heat off to the object and less will be absorbed by indirect rays. Winter, for us or for whomever, uh, more direct, indirect waves, and summer, more direct waves. In our diagram, therefore, A stands for winter and B stands for summer. Again, our little mistake here in the diagram that they apparently used over and over and over, Earth revolves around the sun. In this, we're going to say in a counterclockwise way. Wrong. The Earth revolves, but the Earth's axis does not change. So that direction is going to be the same, pointing at the Polaris, the Pole Star, the North Star. Follow the North Star. Uh, on June 21st, these are all about June 21st, the Northern Hemisphere uh, is facing towards the sun. Therefore, it's warmer, has more daylight hours, receives more direct and stronger rays, and marks the first day of summer. Now, when we go from June to September through summer, we are getting less um, daylight hours. The rays are becoming less direct. They are becoming more spread out. The days are becoming shorter and the nights are becoming longer. And I just like to point out that that is called summer vacation. Uh, even though it's getting less and less summery. On September 23rd, after the beginning of fall, uh, the axes are neither pointed towards or away, so it's an equinox. Uh, there we go. Therefore, it's neither direct nor indirect. It's start of fall and we're getting 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night uh, because it's an equinox, and that's for everybody, north and south. Starting in September to December, we're starting fall, so we're moving away from the sun, leaning away, sorry. The distance is going to be fundamentally the same. I know our pictures um, show it to be sort of further away on December and June, but it's actually pretty circular. We're pretty much the same distance. Um, it The pictures make it look further than it actually is, more elliptical than it actually is. Therefore, our, we're having weaker rays, we're having shorter days and longer nights. Once December comes, we in the northern hemisphere are pointing furthest indirectly away. It's colder weather. We have fewer daylight hours. The uh, energy is much less direct uh, and therefore it is much weaker and we have become winter-like in the north. Now we start the opposite. We're going to get more uh, daylight the rays are becoming less slanting, which is more direct. They are becoming longer days and shorter nights as we move through the season that we are currently in. And uh, instead of going through all the rest of them, we're going to call this the end. So you can imagine that the spring is here and we're moving towards summer. And that's the end.